Very good. Telephone should be answered prior to the third ring. You have picked up the phone. What would you do next before answering? When you talk on the phone, patients in the waiting room should not be able to hear your conversation. You may be talking to their neighbor or a relative. Click on the phone to continue. My name is Mrs. Lucy Ferguson. I have recently moved into town. I'm looking for a doctor who is taking new patients. Mrs. Klein, who is a patient in your office, has recommended Dr. Lopez. Mrs. Klein is a patient of Dr. Lopez, right? Mrs. Klein is a patient in this office. Click the most appropriate response to Mrs. Ferguson. Click Next when you are done. Correct. Professional ethics and confidentiality are involved here. It is not the role of a medical assistant to give any information about a patient, even something as simple as whether he or she is a patient in the office. Click Next to move on. How may I help you, Mrs. Ferguson? I'm 75 years old and need to schedule my annual physical. But for the past three days, it has burned when I go to the bathroom, and I have to keep going all day long. And today, I've been hot and shivering. Click the response to Mrs. Ferguson that is most suitable at this time. Click Next when you are done. A 75-year-old lady with frequency, dysuria, and probable pyrexia has the need to be seen as soon as possible. Therefore, the most appropriate response is to make sure that she is able to get to the office. The next step is to get her into the office as soon as possible. Click Finished to move on. Mrs. Ferguson, I want to give you an appointment to see Dr. Lopez today. Correct. A new patient, especially an elderly woman with these acute symptoms, will need 45 minutes to an hour to be examined. Click Next to move on. Mrs. Ferguson, Dr. Lopez can see you at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Please come in 15 minutes early so you can complete the new patient information we need. I'm going to need the following information before your appointment, including your insurance carrier. Click the essential information you need from Mrs. Ferguson at this time. If you change your mind, click the item again. Click Next when you are done. You can compare your responses with those of our experts. Click on any item to receive feedback. Click Next to continue. Thank you for the information. We will see you at 1.45 this afternoon. Do you need directions to the office? Mrs. Ferguson arrived early and has completed the patient information in health history forms. She is now ready to go into the clinical area. Click Finished to manage her through the examination. You are now playing the role of Susan Lee, a certified medical assistant. You have brought Mrs. Ferguson into the examination room, introduced yourself, and are reviewing with her the medical information form that she completed. A copy of this form can be found in Appendix C of your Student Mastery Manual. Mrs. Ferguson has not completed her health history form. Click on those items that are missing. When you are done, click Next. After checking Mrs. Ferguson's medical history form, you have obtained a midstream urine specimen and you are ready to prepare her for examination. Drag the tiles into the correct order of the following procedures that you would now perform before you ask the doctor to see the patient. Click and drag to change the sequence. Some procedures may be performed more than once. Click Next when you are done.
Compare your sequence with that of our experts. Click Finished to move on. Using your keyboard to enter the correct information, document this dipstick reading on Mrs. Ferguson's urine. Click Next when you are done. You can compare your documentation with our experts' documentation. To move on, click Finished. Select the instruments and supplies to be used for a vaginal examination and pap smear. Click and drag the items you've selected to the Mayo stand. If you change your mind, simply drag them back. Click Next when you are done. You can compare your choices with those of our experts. Click Item Help for descriptions. Click Finished to move on to a new challenge.